Hello there, Cancer. Welcome to your timeless reading. So whenever you happen to come across it, that's when you're meant to see this reading. Okay, so this message is from Spirit. Let's see what we have for you. Grim Reaper, ending and starting over. Okay, so it's like Scorpio energy, ending, new beginning. And we have time travel, finding the right timing. Wow. And fairy, your wishes are coming true. Okay, so it sounds like everything is working out in your favor here. Let's clarify. Oh, let me see what's at the bottom here. Alien, expect the unexpected. I think I'll put that right there. Okay. So let's get more on this Grim Reaper. Ending and starting over. Inner chamber, take time to commune with your spirits and ancestors. Okay. So you're ending something. You're going to start over, but don't forget to ask for help. Um, talk to your spirit guides and your ancestors. Yeah. And the time travel? Charge ahead. The way is clear for you to make good progress now. Okay, so this is telling, telling you something's going to happen soon. And the fairy. Your wishes are coming true. Share knowledge. You give and receive teachings, wisdom, and mentoring. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Found this deck. We have Love Goddess. You attract love, attention, and good sex into your life now. Whoa. Okay, get ready. <laughs> Something interesting is happening for you guys. Okay, let's see about this Grim Reaper in the inner chamber. <laughs> let's see. Bell. I got that for whom the bell toll. <laughs> okay, so we have the bell here. Okay, so with the bell, that would be an awakening of some sort. But it is beginning or end of some important event. A warning that something is ending for something new to begin. So you're you're getting, a, there's like an announcement here. Pay attention to the messages you receive. Okay, so now what about the time travel and the charge ahead? Dove. Ooh. Dove of peace, right? So with the dove, that would be a time of harmony, maybe. Blessings. Prosperity and abundance. Um, friendship. Healing. Good health. So things like, like, almost feels like your slate is clean. To know whatever's happening here. It's very good. It's nice reading. Okay, what about the fairy and the share knowledge? A shield. Hmm. Huh. So this shield would be uh, some kind of protection or maybe in preserving something. It could be, it could also be isolation, or it could also be a, um, a defensive barrier of some sort. But your wishes are coming true. Okay, whatever's happening here, you give and receive teaching, wisdom, and mentoring. So it seems like you're protected. I'm going to say that this shield is just saying you have protection around you. Your wishes are coming true, and something, whatever's coming in here, that you're very protected. And also, I would think, if there's some kind of information, because this is like to give and receive teachings, you're going to um, you're gonna know what you can, you're going to be shielded as far as what you can tell someone and what you can't. Okay, and then we have here the fetus. Ooh, definitely a new beginning for you. So this is, um, this is like in the beginning stages. This is like you um, planning something here, right? It's, um developing possibility is also could be um new responsibility because this is a fetus it's something brand new this is something that has not actually been born yet but it's in the process so it's in the very first stages of something so expect the unexpected you got a new beginning and you attract love attention and good sex and oh okay let's see what else we can get for you guys i like this what else does Spirit want to tell you? I really do like this. Let's see. 
Six of Cups. Memories. Memories coming back in. It could be memories with, I mean, you do have, you attract love, so they could, you could be attracting someone from the past, come back in. Or it could be something that you just love to do, something coming back around. Ooh, it's going to be shocking. We have the tower. Something unexpected is coming in for you. Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. And we have here. Ooh, Wow. Okay, this is a time of abundance for you. This is great. Yeah, I would say you might be um might be coming in time of prosperity here. New begin definitely new beginnings, a new job, a new business, but doing quite well. <clears throat> I got a scratchy voice now. Oh the sun makes you very happy. <coughs> if someone wants to talk to you, here goes my voice. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Just like them. I think someone might show up from the past and just come out of nowhere. All of a sudden you turn around and they're there. Okay, what about the Six of Cups? <clears throat> what is underneath this one? Eight of Cups. Yeah, someone might be walking away from something. Because I saw the number and I didn't know if it was a six. Walking away from something to come towards you maybe. Or you, well you're definitely leaving something to start. So this could be you leaving whatever. You know, this could be you leaving full cups and saying, you know what? I, you know, you might accomplish something. This could have been even if you started a business and you say, you know, I don't like it anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. I want to do something else. And you might just say, you know, you take care of this. Um, I'm done with it. It almost feels like that kind of energy. Like, it's okay. I'll start again. What about the Six of Cups? Okay, so there's something, memories of the past that did not really go well here. So what's that all about? How about the five of swords? You might have walked walked away from maybe that's it. Maybe you walk away from something from your past to go to something new. Look at this, undecided about something. You know what? Sometimes when we don't make a decision, I'm gonna have to pause. I'm gonna cough. I knew that was gonna be a strong cough. So someone wants to speak to you. That part the mess, but that was I was coming in very forceful. <laughs> oh my god! That's why I feel like this person's gonna just show up and um. And if you don't, when I started to say, if you don't, or did I say, I'm not even sure. If you don't make up your mind on something, you don't make a decision sometimes. Not making a decision is a decision. And sometimes you make a decision and maybe the universe has different plans for you. And that's when the tower comes in. It changes things. Okay. What about this Ace of Pentacles? Ooh, there might be some competition over some kind of new beginning here as far as your business or your prosperity or your money here. Or it might just be saying you're, you know, this could also say that you you got the job. There may be stiff competition, but you got the job. Let's see what's on here. Knight of Wands. Someone's coming towards you really quickly here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be any sign though. Okay, let's see what else we have. Ten of Wands. You might be very busy, might be um, having a lot to do here, a lot of responsibilities. Might be a heavy burden. And then we have here Ace of Swords, but you're going to speak your truth on something. You might be cutting out something. Maybe um, getting rid of these burdens. Okay, and then we have, okay, we have the Five of Swords coming up again. A lot of changes though. We have the Five, Five, Five. And we, yeah, there's changes coming in here. And we have your Ten of Pentacles. You are coming into a time of prosperity here. Ten of Pentacles. Commitment. Okay, why is the Ten of Wands here? I almost feel like you're doing really well. You got people that are kind of jealous about it. So they might be trying to sabotage you. But I think you got this. Okay, what about the Ten of Wands? I mean, it's meant for you. It's meant for you. You're going to hear from somebody. Almost feels too like this person has been burdened on, on not talking to you. So this could be their ten of wands too. It could be like they need to reach out. They need to talk to you. They're going to reach out. Yeah. Might be at night. But they have important information for you. And it's going to be something you want to hear. It's some kind of wise information too. Um, 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What about the Ace of Swords? Seems like someone wants to come here and speak their truth. Because they've been holding it for too long. It's been a heavy burden on them. Okay. They want to have an equal give and take in this situation. They want to talk to you about it. They want to balance things out with you. But why is the Five of Swords here? What's that all about? Ah. I feel like someone was deliberately hiding something from you, confusing you. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, the, it could be a King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or this that actually could be your energy, that you're coming in, you're very stable, reliable. Doing quite well. This is the most abundant card in the deck as far as court cards. Let's get a charm on this. Oh, we have, this would be either like a soccer ball or a football. Give you a close up on that. Maybe someone plays, or or maybe something to do with the ball, or this could be also passing the ball, maybe. Um, I'll put it right in the pinnacle. They could make money at this too, or you could. Okay, King of Pentacles. But there is some kind of confusion. I think someone deliberately confused you or tried to confuse you. But I think you figured something out here. Okay, so we have two court cards. Let's get more on the court cards. I'm going to do the Page of Wands first since that came up first. Contact. Yes, definitely contacting you. Caring. Lover. Oh. See, they really care about you. So this is someone that you were... Um, intimate with and here we have look at this you know <laughs> okay let's see about this king of pentacles it definitely could be a king of pentacles maybe they're into sports okay let's see let me just i dropped something i'm trying to grab again okay here we go we have forget intruder spying Okay, someone wants to for, want you to forget that someone was some intruder was spying on you. I mean, that could make sense to you. Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. That is definitely not going to be for everyone. So just only take it if it's yours. Okay, now let's see what signs we could be dealing with for you. The signs here for Cancer. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer, there you are, who two came out, Aries, Libra, okay, and Libra again, okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's chart, Past, present, and future. Okay, now let's do the letters. We're going to do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also all the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. G. U. K. Z. I. Y. K, Z, R, M, D. Okay, so letters we have for you today are G, U, K, Z, I, Y, K, Z, R, M, D. Now, let's do the names. What are the names? Okay, we have here Nelly, N-E-L-L-Y, we have Sharon, we have Chan Chanchelle, C-H-A-N-C-H-A-L, Gloria, Lawrence, Aquila, A-Q-U-I-L-A-H, okay, we have Chase, 
Sheridy, S-H-E-R-A-D-E-E. -E. We have Jackie, spelled J-A-C-Q-U-E. And Rahika, R-A-D-H-I-K-A. -A. Graham, Steve, and Bohola. Okay, so we have... So that's 6, 11, 13. Okay, 13 names. All right, guys. Now, remember, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it does not resonate with you, check out your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Something might resonate with you more in one of your other placements. Also, sometimes it just gives you that missing piece, that missing link, that missing part of the puzzle. And over here, there should be a thumbnail that pops up. If you click on that, it'll bring you to the previous reading I did for you, which was the bonus love readings for August 2023. All right, guys, I love you so much, and I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.